Hello everybody, Super Yoshi Thumbs here today, and today I am going to be doing a Mario Plush collection. I've been putting this off for a, wh for a while now, because I have just been collecting, 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 non-stop. But I finally found my breathing ground, and I'm kind of taking a break, because I've spent way too much money on these little guys. And also Christmas is coming up, and with the Mario Plushes, I just told my family members to just... Just surprised me, but anyway, enough about me. Now let's get on to the plush collection. First off, we are going to do the Mario's, and how this section is going to go is with each section. If there is a rare character, it will be towards the end. So first we'll go. Here's the uh, normal Mario's. You know the ones that are still in stores, the not rare ones, the common ones. Then after all them, I'll say, all right, now onto the rare Mario's, stuff like that. So. First up is my normal Mario. The Mario that's always in every video with the sewn off hand and stitched back together again. That's what the normal one's supposed to look like. Sewing came undone and I had to do it back again and the hat sewn back on. Yeah, really great plush. Really great to have in my collection. This is the all-star Mario and he's stuck with me for a good three years now. Next up is Fire Mario, which I actually got from free for my friend Marshall. Shout out to you, man. Marshall Davis, shout out. This is not the all-star version. This is the older Sine Little Buddy. Which I guess you can make the argument that it is rare, but since it's retired now, but it's really not. But uh, I have no plans to get the all-star version because I have this one and I got it for free. So yeah, I don't plan to get the new one, but so this is what I got it right now. Next up is Baby Mario. This is my Baby Mario that I use in all my videos. His buttons have come undone several times, and so have his overall straps. But, uh, this is the all-star Sine little buddy, whatever you want to call it, Baby Mario. Very nice. Next is the brand new Metal Mario. This is a very nice plush. I am rather fond of this character. It is very nice and very soft. I did not think it would be the soft, but it actually really is. Next up is this medium-sized Carnival Mario that I won at Dave & Buster's. Uh, it's pretty janky, pretty crap, but, you know, for 800 tickets, what do you do? Next is the World of Nintendo Mario by Jack Specific. They just re-released these because they have been out of stock for a while, but they remade them, and they're, like, pretty big now. I'll do a comparison with the next plush because now we are getting into the rare characters after one more character. And the next character is my custom Mario Odyssey Mario. It's a removable hat, obviously. And shiny golden buttons. And also stitch lines. I just bought a new All-Star Mario and uh, did that to him. It's pretty nice. I'm planning to make a Mario Odyssey video. I know I'm kind of late to the party. Three years late, obviously. I think four, actually. But anyway, I still like, love the game. I actually still haven't completed it. So yeah, pretty nice. All right, now onto the rare ones. We're gonna go in terms of rarity. And first off is the Jack Specific World of Nintendo Cat Mario. Went out of stock in 2016, I believe. And I got him used on Mercari. Kind of gray on the feet, but what can you do? Six bucks. Next up is the Goldie Mario. Has been out of stock since like, what, 2013, 2011? But it's still really common. This Mario I got off Mercari. He looks weirdly buff, but I really wanted to get all the Goldie Marios, the Goldie Mario set, and I'm working to complete that. Next up is the mini keychain Mario. I just cut off the keychain to make it into a mini Mario. It's the world of Nintendo one. His face looks all weird, but he's really tiny. Fits in my hand. Kind of like a stress ball. Keep him on my desk. Next up is the world of Nintendo Jack Specifics Ice Mario. As you can tell, a lot of these World Nintendo ones are really rare now. They haven't remade this guy, and uh, he is kind of fading. Did get him used off Mercari. Most of the rare stuff I got off Mercari or eBay, I'll point that out. But uh, hey, I got him in a bundle with a really cheap Carnival Mario for like 25 bucks, and that's a really good deal. Next up is this. Next, I have this Wendy's Mario. Yes, you heard that right. Wendy's 2000. Five, I believe his head can move and this is currently what I use as my mini Mario but uh yeah I really do like him he's really nice compact small 
and his head is plastic, silicone, whatever. It's like kind of squishy. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. Next up is another Metal Mario, the Jack specific one. This guy is not rare to me anymore because I left him in a shed and a lot of that came off. Also, his ear got clipped somehow. I didn't do that. I, it's a scissors mark, I can tell, but because of how precise it is, it's not a real. My sister probably did it knowing her. And the stitches on here are popped. He's not worth a jack squat, really, but I mean, he still looked pretty cool. I will never use him. He just sits on my shelf. But yeah, pretty cool. And $100 on Amazon that I got for $5 on Mercari is White Tanuki Mario. That is right. He's actually really soft. I got him in a bundle with Cat Mario and Cat Luigi World Nintendo. Spoilers for the Luigi section. But yeah, really nice. I got him for 6 bucks plus shipping, which is like 10 bucks. but I don't really care. It's really nice. He's actually really, really soft. Uh, I kept the tag on him, the paper tag. He didn't come, the tush tag. He didn't come with the paper tag. But yes, yeah, really, really nice. He's $100 right now on Amazon. And I only have one of these currently. I asked for the new one and his brother, I think, for uh, Christmas this year. But it's not Christmas. So all I have is this BDNA Wario. I asked for the All-Star Wario and Waluigi for Christmas. They might be coming. They might not. Santa might deliver. Santa might not. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. But uh, yeah, this is what I got so far. Uh, got him off Mercari for like 15 bucks. I mean, I find really good deals on Mercari. Just gotta wait a little bit. Now on to the Luigi's. First up is my old All-Star Luigi. His neck is really floppy and I currently do not use him anymore. Next up is the older Sine Little Buddy Luigi, which I currently do use as my main Luigi. Mostly because him next to my Mario looks a lot better. Because it makes Mario look a lot fatter. Also, they're the same height. Because with these two, they're about the same size and like body mass. And that's not accurate at all. Mario's supposed to be fatter. And Luigi's supposed to be like skin and bones. So yeah, I really like this Luigi a lot more. A lot nicer, really compact, and really nice. So, yeah, this is my current Luigi. Next up is the All Star Sine Baby Luigi. Got him pretty recently at GameStop, about like I don't know, maybe two months ago. I mean, he's I think he's my most recent plush, and he's pretty soft because of that. He's still really soft. Yeah, not much to say about him. Okay, I lied. This is my most recent plush. I literally got him a week ago. It is the Fire Luigi. And it's really weird because they haven't made an all-star Fire Luigi. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining about considering I used this one. And they look better because they're the same size. But I found this guy in Target. This guy is like 10 years old. Why? He's actually like 7, 6, but still... He ha he didn't they don't even put the new all-star tag on him. He's still okay with the red tag. Which is really weird. Like I don't know why they still sell him. Like one or none. Either do this one with the all-star tag or make an all-star Luigi or don't sell him at all. Like come on now. Next up is the brand new Jack Specific World of Nintendo Luigi. Like I said, from the same new wave that are both that are like uh bigger. Here, I'll actually show you with the Mario's. Uh, uh, here we go. Here's the new Mario, and here's the older Ice Mario. They are a lot bigger. Lost the camera then. <clears throat> I'm not gonna retake that shot. I, I don't care enough. This is a plush collection. Next up is the Jack Specific Older World of Nintendo Fire Luigi. I got him off of Mercari just because he was, he was like, I think eight bucks with free shipping. So I was like, eh, might as well add him to the collection. He, he's got a hair on him. Why does he have a hair? Get the hair off, what the heck? All right, but yeah, he's really nice. Uh, kind of old and used, but whatever. Pretty nice to my collection. Next up, my first purchase from Mercari is Flying Squirrel Luigi. That's right. Really nice plush. I love the Flying Squirrel plushies. I don't have Flying Squirrel Mario, but I'm really looking to get him. This is a really nice plush, and I highly recommend it.
Next up is the Goldie Luigi. Very nice plush. It's also still pretty soft. Uh, none of the Goldie plushies that I have have come with the tag. I only have three Goldie plushies, but still, they have not come with the tag. But I do have a toad in my Mercari shopping cart that does have a tag, so I should be getting the tag soon. But yeah, pretty nice. Next up is World Nintendo Cat Luigi. Right, we've got that in that bundle. But uh, yeah, just standard Cat Luigi. He's pretty soft and pretty tall, honestly. But uh, yeah, pretty nice, pretty soft. Really like him. And not really a Luigi plush, but Polter Pup. Now, I only have one of these. Well, actually two. Real quick, All-Star Toad and... Ah! All right, now that Toad's dead, we can move on to the Yoshis. Now, first off is the World of Nintendo Yoshi. I actually have two. This is the first one that I used in my channel a lot, but he got really old and crusty and stuff. So I just bought this new one. And he's still really soft, but I retired him for the Mario Party 5 Yoshi. Yes, that is right. I have the Mario Party 5 Yoshi plush. Not a lot of you are going to believe me. Oh well, I don't care. He looks bootleggy, but the tag is correct. Oh, focus there. Hello. It says 2003 Nintendo, 2003 Hut Hudson Soft. There you go. Yep. Mario Party. Bam. Official Mario Party 5 Yoshi. Next up, also from Dave and Buster's, is this Yoshi, which is actually Yoshi's dad. So, uh, yeah. Pretty nice. Uh, not really. Kind of feels like I'm holding a trash bag, but, uh, he's kind of soft, I guess. Next up are my two yarn Yoshis, Green and Poulter Pup. I mean, not Poulter Pup, Poochie. Yeah, I cut off his tongue right there, so, like, there was stitching right there, so he can look everybody. This is baby Yoshi. Yoshi has a kid, and this is him. And Poochie is just their dog. I'm not getting the All Star version, it is way too big. I mean, if it was like the same size as the Lemmy, maybe. But it, that thing is huge. That thing's bigger than Bowser. Nah. And last, but certainly not least, considering he's more mainstream than Yoshi, it is Red Yoshi. Yes, I hate the All-Star Yoshis. They suck. They are horrible. I'll probably get the green one just for my collection, but none of the other ones. They're so fat. I had the orange one because my friend gave him to me. I ended up giving him away to my cousin. Not even selling him. Giving him away. <clears throat> they suck. This is the older little buddy one. And I plan to get all the other colors in this format or the Yoshi's Island DS format. Next up, we're gonna do the power-ups. Because I might as well. First up is the Club Moki Moki coin block. Just the question mark block, coin block, whatever you want to call it. Pretty soft, pretty squishy, really nice, really like it. But it's pretty small, but uh yeah, plan to use it in the future. Next I have a bunch of mushrooms, so I'm just gonna speed through them real quick. Have the red super mushroom, blue mini mushroom, green one up, black not real but bomb mushroom, and the purple poison mushroom, which I added eyebrows to. I also made some customs with the remaining three. They had a they had two yellow ones and a light blue one, but the eye was messed up on the light blue one, so I didn't use that for the mini mushroom. And I made up a different mushroom the aquatic mushroom it has gills and these are light like a aqua blue and it has fins <clears throat> basically lets you breathe underwater until you go back up to the surface or or get hit by an enemy but uh yeah also i made the propeller cap mushroom i added the little lid colored it in with sharpie and added the top part and with the other yellow, I also made the acorn mushroom. Uh, it's unfinished at the back, but you're never gonna see that, unless, you know, right now. But uh, mostly Sharpie with some uh, red right there. But yeah, I also made two completely from scratch customs, the tanuki leaf and the fire flower. Just from scratch, no real filling, 
kind of cookie cutter paper cutouts. And I just dropped the five flower. I don't have any of the tanukis, but whatever. Now on for the bosses and mid bosses. First up is the All Stars Bowser Jr. I had the chance to get the uh, older little buddy Jr. for sixty dollars. Not bad at all. But I had just spent it on something different, and I lost out on it. I just watched it go up on eBay and sell for like fifty bucks. It was sad, but uh, in my universe. Junior's some big old tough guy. Uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, he's all right. I just don't like how he looks all big and gruff. Next up, here comes the Mad Lad Boom Boom. And uh, he's really nice. You can hold his feet together and actually make him do what he does in the thing. And in my, uh, in my channel, he talks like, Hey, boys, what do you guys want to do? And he's also a brony. There was a reference to that. In the Meet the Cast video, he was lying, in case you didn't pick up on that. <clears throat> but yeah, a pretty nice shell. I've used them a lot. Normally I hold them by the back of the shell, so his shell is pretty dented. But yeah, really nice. Next up is Larry. Very nice. Everybody I've ever asked either says Larry or Lemmy. Or weirdly enough, Ludwig is their favorite Koopling. I hate Ludwig. He looks so weird. But uh, his mohawk has fallen down. There was like a piece of cardboard right there that holds it. And it just slipped out from the pool in the dryer. Got a nice shell. His teeth have come unstuck. They were glued right there. <clears throat> and his fist, just like Mario's, has come unsewn from where I took out the wand. Because I take out the wands because I want them to look natural. Next up is Lemmy. Hi guys, what's up? But uh, yeah, also the same thing happened with him. Well, I just actually cut it out. There's still some gray in there. He is really used, like you can tell the wear and tear on him. His mohawk is also pretty floppy. I mean, you can just see all the wears on him. I mean, he is not holding up too well, but uh, I'm not gonna be replacing Lemmy. And next up is, uh oh, oh no, here he comes. It's, it's Bowser, very nice. This was a really cool birthday present. Uh, he was, bit too expensive for my taste on Amazon like 40 bucks that was outrageous but he is the all-star version and I absolutely love him he is so big so cool and he just looks a lot better than that god-awful early version of him last but certainly not least is the Bowser's enemy minions whatever you want to call it section first up we have the all-stars Goomba He's been through better days. His foot got burned, so I put a piece of felt there because all the beans were like spilling out. <clears throat> Pretty nice plush. The third Goldie is the Goldie Koopa. I think we all know why uh, most of us get Goldie Koopa. It's either because we're a fan of a certain channel, no. Uh, maybe because uh, we collected all the Goldies, or we're trying, sorta. Maybe it's just because it's literally the best Koopa design to ever come out. Yes, this is the best Koopa design ever. So good. The head actually looks good. He's standing up, not sitting like a weirdo. He's got his arms out in a nice arch fist pose, but not as much as freaking Junior over here. Look at this man. Man looks jacked. Yes, a very nice Koopa plush indeed. The best Koopa plush indeed. In fact, I have three in my Amazon cart. Next is a paratrooper that I cut off the wings and made into a red Koopa. Like, look at this, look at this dude. Look at this dude. Man, looks stupid. Look at him. Look at this guy compared to this guy. Nah, get that red Koopa crap out of here. Man, looks stupid. Focus the attention on moi. The last of the Koopas is my all-star Koopa, which I turned into Koopa the Quick. I have a video planned out on this. He's got a one right there with that little thing that they have. He's got his race shoes on. Those aren't Nikes, those are flames. He's got a headband on and wrist straps. Not wrist straps, uh, sweatbands. And a one on his shelf. That was hard to cut out. <clears throat> I know I have ruined this, but I can buy another one. It's not that bad. Next up is Cheap Cheap. Very nice plush. Actually, the third Mario plush I ever got. I got Mario, Toad, and Cheap Cheap all at the same time. I was going to get Mario, Toad, and Koopa, but I saw Cheap Cheap and I had to get Cheap Cheap. 
because they're fishy fish. But yeah, I got cheap cheap. I haven't really used them that much, but uh, whenever I do use them, he's always in the pool. So he's not as soft as it should be. But the bottom of them, ironically, the part where it gets the most uh, water is ironically the best feeling part. Yeah, he's the all-star and he's very nice. Got him at GameStop. This is the <laughs> ba bomb. Uh, it's a very nice plush, very squishy. Technically, he was the first out of all of them. Well, technically, none of these guys were the first because <clears throat> whenever I was like eight and seven, my grandma got me a lot. But those don't count because I don't have them. I sold them all. My grandma got me this as just a surprise one day. And it was the only one that I didn't sell from that era. So it was this guy. Then I got those three at GameStop. And I've just been collecting ever since. So technically, the bomb here was the first. Next up, a birthday present while I was in a late birthday present while I was sick on quarantine is Hammer Bro. He's a very nice plush. Um, he's got cardboard in his feet, so he actually can stand. This guy's hammer. And I actually had the original sitting down version, and it was really nice. And so I was pretty stoked whenever I got this guy. He's actually nicer. Next up, pretty fitting to the music, is the All Star Dry Bones. A very nice plush indeed. Just be careful around his neck because within two hours of me getting him, he already had a rip. And my sister put nail polish on him right there, but oh well. The hole is kind of just like a guiding point now, but uh, I hold him like that. He's really nice. He's the All Star version. His ribs actually poke out, and as somebody who had the original, this is a big step up. Next up, also technically the first, because I actually kept him from that seven to eight year old era of me getting surprises from my grandma, is Pokey. Like every time I would go over there, she'd have just a new one. Most of them were fake, but Pokey was actually real. It was really, really cool. I remember back then there were so many rumors that he had sand in him to make him like actually bend, but you can actually bend, but no, that's just really thin wire. And they thought, they thought that was the sand, but no, that's just beans, guys. Man, that was so funny when everybody thought this guy was filled with sand. Next up is the little buddy, Shy Guy. And no, he's not from the era of seven to eight year old me. I just like this one a lot more <clears throat> than the all-star version. I saw the all-star version in Walgreens because I love Shy Guy. And I saw him, and I picked him up, and he was so freaking big. He was massive. He was, like, this much more. He was huge. And I said, uh-uh, I'm going to have to get the original. And I got this guy a lot smaller than I expected, but I like that from Shy Guy. Shy Guy isn't supposed to be big. Next up is Lakitu. Yeah, I say Lakitu, not Lakitu, or whatever else you guys say. Everyone, I call it Lakatu. It was so freaking weird. But anyway. He's really nice, he's got his cloud, it's the all-star version. He came with a sp spiny ball, but like a lot of people, I cut that off, and I still have it, but I did cut that off. I had one before this, and I cut his glasses off. Uh, I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> Please, dear God, no. Second to last place is Mecha Koopa. On Amazon, they actually restocked a lot of these guys that weren't made into all-star plushies, like Mecha Koopa, Monty Mole, a Buzzy Beetle, uh, not Pokey for some reason, uh, but Porky Puffer and uh, Fuzzy. Not they didn't restock Pokey for some reason, but they did stock all restock all of them. But I already have Pokey, so it's all right. So he was actually the first one I got from that new wave, but he is really nice. He can stand. He's got a lot of cardboard in him, like this, and his mouth, and right here. But yeah, he's really not, oh, and his eyes. He's got a lot of cardboard. Barely even a plush. <laughs> And last but certainly not least is Mountain Mall. Easily probably my third favorite out of everybody here. First being Bowser probably and second place being Ice Mario. Those guys are just really cool. I am a little sick so if you hear me <clears throat> doing that throughout the video that was my sinuses. Anyway he's really nice. These whiskers are not what I thought they would be. They're like little strands of thread and then burned off at the end so they can't like thread out uh, I thought if this guy was made into an all-star plush they would make him in a running pose or something stupid and this would be embroidered like like um but I don't have a plush to show you that has that but you know what I mean 
this is like sewn in and it looks really weird but it's really nice unfortunately in the packaging his tooth was pushed up so it's always going to be out like that i've tried putting stuff down there I've, i i even glued it but it's no use monty's always going to just be like this oh yeah, there we go it's, it'll be embroidered like that yeah he's really soft really nice and i highly recommend him but with that that sadly means that this plus collection has come to an end I uh, appreciate all of you guys for watching my videos over the years. And now let's just take you on a little tour. Yeah, it's uh, it's a mess though. Goombas down there. But uh, yeah, they're all right here. Yeah, and me. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.